ignition. Lift off of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon. Go NASA, go SpaceX. The mission to the moon starts 14 feet underwater for 19-year-old Tatiana Ivanova. My biggest life goal is to become an astronaut. Ivanova, a student of the International Institute for Astronautical Sciences from Bulgaria. If you need master's, PhD to become an astronaut, uh, but also you have to somehow outstand and build a resume, and going through all of these courses helps you become the most prepared version of yourself. That version built here in this unassuming building by the Grain New London Airport. The future of spaceflight is going to be very multinational, very multicultural, and we realize that this change that we want to essentially create professionals, and so that the, the future of spaceflight is not seen as as an elitist pursuit. It's it's really seen as something that that everyone can aspire to be part of. Jason Weimuller heads up the institute, offering research campaigns and academic programs to train the next generation in spaceflight. We have a program for professionals, and typically these can be engineers or scientists or operators, pilots, commercial or military, or educators. Um, and we have an avenue for people that come in younger in their career. Students from more than 50 countries diving deep in hopes of eventually flying high. The students we've had here have gone through several courses. They understand the theoretical backgrounds. This is a way to kind of hammer that in. Also on board the mission, Survival Systems USA. It's their training facility in Groton that's transformed into a space flight laboratory. Hopefully these people are just going to be pioneers of, uh, of what humanity you know, can offer. The classes here at Survival Systems involve building environments that replicate the space environment. And that's exactly what's going on right here, underwater. Students are exploring a representation of the Quest airlock. It's not just a way of doing immersive education. We always try to add novel science. The pool helping simulate the microgravity that astronauts experience working in space. It actually provides a really good training and test bed. Skills to flex as spaceflight takes off. Humans are going back to space. They're going back commercially. They're going back to NASA. Other countries are getting involved. The students hoping this training puts them on the forefront Good job, man. of the new frontier of research and exploration. I will uh, apply for going on some of the airborne campaigns and hopefully uh, I will be put on the hot list <laughs> one day. We want to explore space and we want to discover the unknown and better humanity throughout you. As the old saying goes, shoot for the moon. Don't let anybody tell you uh, what you can do and not do. And you just might land among the stars. Angelo Bavaro, Fox 61 News.